downtown Tampa. We are here again. We are heading towards the Tampa Convention Center. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back. As you can see, we are in downtown Tampa at the Tampa Convention Center. And today, specifically, we are checking out the Oddities and Curiosities Expo. Uh, this is one that I've been anticipating for quite a few months now. In fact, I can't believe that it's it's November. It's now officially November. So, well, here we are. Happy November, everyone. But uh, anyway, this convention is actually kind of um, interesting because it is sort of like a traveling convention sort of thing. Uh, so they don't only just do it here in Florida, in Tampa. They, they go all across the country from what I understand. Um, they're only here in Tampa today as of the time of this recording, Saturday the 4th, I think, of November. Um, but they are traveling, as I said, all across the country. So I'll put their information down below for you if you're curious and checking this out. Cur oddities and curiosity. Anyway, if you're curious and checking it out, do so it may it may be coming towards your town so um, I think all of the vendors are for the most part specific to here in Florida in Tampa and whatnot but uh, they have some other like interesting exhibits and things going on we're gonna see when we get inside of there so uh, without further ado let's get going let's get oddities and curiosity let's get let's get odd and let's get curious how about that that makes more sense let's go there's actually a few events that are happening today here at the convention center besides the oddities uh, expo there's a franchise expo and um, I don't know what anything else is but there's a lot of things here and I'm just gonna say I feel sorry for them having to do their things today of all days well, there, there, there's a oddities, an oddities show going on, so sorry about that, folks. About to get really weird up in here. And check it out. We've got quite a line here just to get inside of the expo. It spirals all the way around here, despite getting the tickets online. And after this, heading over to the franchise show. Going to start me a franchise. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. All right. And just like that, we are inside. That really didn't take too long. Maybe like 10, 15 minutes. The line was moving pretty darn quick. But here is what we are dealing with. This whole room in here filled with all kinds of weird and creepy stuff. By the way, it's November 5th. It's not the 4th, like I, like I said it was. Sorry about that. But anyway, here's a list of all of the vendors here, a map of what we're dealing with. Also, they have a Museum of Marvelous Mutations and a taxidermy classroom here. So I got a ticket for the museum. It wasn't very expensive. It was like $10 or something like that. So we'll be going through that later. I did not get a ticket for the taxidermy, which you could make a two-headed duck or something like that. That was almost $300. So, you know, maybe, maybe next time, but it is a possibility. Right off the bat, this booth here filled with taxidermy with uh with a bunch of not alive animals over here and it is busy it is very very busy over here lots and lots of taxidermy and skulls and bones and all kinds of stuff yeah, a lot of large animal heads back there we see a boar as well yeah people are just lining up wanting to purchase their uh Dead stuffed animals, oh my goodness. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on. Yeah, I guess just a forewarning, we're gonna see a lot of taxidermy and bones here. You usually do at oddities conventions, so just uh, just get ready for that. Usually they are uh, ethically sourced though. Like the animals have already been killed. Usually they're like roadkill and stuff like that so keep keep that in mind too oh and we've got some uh, photo ops over here as well this is pretty cool there's one over there too oh goodness and i think i found a pal for my demon minnie and mickey a, a really creepy sully so what happened to your teeth sully oh goodness there's even a there's a simba down here as well and a, a creepy otter and this bunny, oh my goodness, and a lobster too. It looks like they do shows here as well. 
Maybe the knife Show? show? About to begin. Oh, cool. Come watch the action packed swashbuckling sword swallowing show. Okay. I'll be fencing against my organs. Oh, sounds fun. Hello, let me introduce myself. I'm indeed the man of the hour, Sai the Sword Swallower, also known as Sideshow Sai, as my loving parents named me. I'm a man of skill, a man of danger, and some would even say a complete lunatic. I'll be playing with this uh, seven foot brown bullwhip. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, bullwhip with a really loud noise. So for any of you that are sensitive to loud noises, this is going to happen. There we go. Here we go. Flamingo, oh, if only Jay was here. That's a great name. They have a bunch of flower crowns over here. This is great for Renaissance season, which is coming up here, and a bunch of other kinds of crowns, too. These are really, really pretty. I've never seen, like, crystals on, on crowns before, and, of course, they got the witch hats here as well. These are really pretty. Oh, look at this little possum. He's inside of a canoe over here. Just a swimming away. That's adorable. Also, he's got a little raccoon pal here. Looks like he got himself into some good and plenties over here. Good choice. This is a really pretty skull over here. I like all of the amethyst that they put inside of it. It's really, really pretty. Also, <laughs> that pile of ducks that you were looking for, they got them here too. They're only $30 each. Oh, they're adorable. That one's about to get eaten by that piranha though. This booth over here called Feral Grandmother Artistry, which is an amazing name by the way, but they have a lot of really cool looking jewelry over here. Really caught my eye, especially because I personally love like the copper stuff, but it uh, looks like they're using, you know, bones and teeth and whatnot inside of the jewelry as well which is it's pretty darn cool i like it we're here at ultra t studios these really weird little statue thingies caught my eye it's like straight out of the thing is what it reminds me of just watched that the other day and oh my gosh that is still a terrifying movie but yeah these these are pretty creepy especially this one here that looks like a little crab they all look like little crabs. I think that's why it's kind of freaking me out, too. Ugh. Taxidermy classroom with Heather Clark of the Sleeping Sirens. As you can see, it is all blocked off here, as it should be. Taxidermy classroom. So this was, as I said, I think like around $300. Just a little bit underneath that, but it's pretty darn cool. You can learn how to do taxidermy. It's a great idea. Okay, we've got some interesting stuff over here. Looks like some woolly mammoth hair and a bunch of skulls inside of here. Some shrunken heads. Some real shrunken heads in here. Wow, this is interesting. Got a big old bird egg, elephant bird egg from Madagascar. And a elongated skull here. Peruvian elongated skull. Oh my goodness. Wow, lots of shrunken heads over here as well. All of these are available for purchase, by the way. Oh, and that chicken in a basket that you were looking for, it's here as well. Again, available for purchase for only $160. Oh, and there's a huge otter, a big old lion, some quails. Uh, is this a badger? I think that's a badger. And this over here is why I am knee deep in taxidermy right now. But check this out. There's a whole little display going on inside of, uh, of this deer here. Oh goodness. I didn't know that that was the innards of a deer, but there you go. Oh, and check it out. They even have coffee here as well. Black Forge coffee. That's pretty red. And check it out, I got some myself. 
and what I'm drinking specifically is the Oddities and Curiosities Expo blend, a specific blend for this show. Now this is this is the tea that we're looking at here, but it's it's still uh, this one is named after the show as well, so pretty darn cool. And this booth that we're looking at here is called the Sleeping Siren. So apparently that taxidermy class that you can take here, well, they are an actual uh, they're an actual place. An actual establishment and they do art and taxidermy and all kinds of other stuff here as well and it appears they have their own official merchandise as well pretty cool they got a bunch of shirts some beanies some sweatshirts some bags all kinds of stuff some of it even says uh, Tampa on it so I imagine you can get it in whatever specific town that, uh, that this comes to. I'm happy to say that our pals at Crescent Creepers are doing quite well. Their booth is busy. You can see my sweatshirt right in the corner there. My little cardigan that I got from them. Super cute. I love it. Turned my head and immediately saw these creepy dolls inside of this weird little choo-choo crib thing here. So uh, definitely going to go check this booth out. It looks awesome. Oh, and there's Slimer in the corner. It looks like he ate somebody. What are you doing, Slimer? No. Looks like we got some furniture on the outside here. Something called a rainbow game. That looks super fun. And a whole bunch of other stuff out here. Some art and whatnot. Even got a Dracula over here. Looks like he's wearing some some fancy furs over there. That's pretty cool. And we got a lot of a lot of creepy like toys and marbles, uranium glass over here. That is legit. And these are right up my alley as well. These really creepy little dog and cat figurines. I always like to look at those when we go to antique stores. Really gotta start my collection with these. And pray and hope that they come alive at night. These I'm pretty sure do. A lot of different kinds of trinkets over here as well. I really like the salt and pepper shakers. Those are cool. That's where I that would go perfect in the spooky kitchen. Really like these snake candle holders. Those are pretty legit. Got a cute little little beaver over here. It's adorable. Oh, and this this little demon bunny here as well, who's also about to be eaten by that piranha. Oh no, watch out. And they have some books over here as well, which is always uh, something that I look out for at these things because they're usually very, very interesting and stuff that uh, you have a hard time finding anywhere else. Yeah, these look, these look pretty darn, pretty darn good. Under the slab, apparently they do have an Etsy shop here, but there is so much cool stuff going on in here. This is definitely right up my alley. Lots of really awesome, awesome jewelry in here. All kinds of crystals and fun stuff. Oh no, I, I literally want all of it. Look at these little coffin crystal necklaces necklaces too. Oh no. Oh no. I might be spending a lot of money here, just saying. And this is the booth that I am at right now. Definitely a bunch of really awesome witchy things, which you know I really like. Got a bunch of pendulums over here, some rows of Jericho, and a lot of sage over here as well. I've never seen this before, where they have all of the tarot cards here, but you can actually see, they have like a sample of what all of the cards look like. I actually own this one myself, the Inversion Tarot, and uh, yeah, they have a little sample here for you. So that's, that's a really good idea. That way you can see what all the cards look like and, and touch them and, and whatnot. Yeah, really good idea. So Palo Santo over here and check it out. Some resin incense, which I haven't seen, I haven't seen in a long time. They even have salt, all kinds of different salts that you would need for those spells, some spell candles over here as well. See, I told y'all, even though Halloween is over, doesn't mean we still can't get spooky up in this channel. And before I finish up this delicious coffee, I want to say that this video's coffee, actual coffee, is thanks to Lancelot. Really appreciate you. Thank you so much for supporting the channel as much as you do. 
Cheers, I hope you enjoy this one. I think it's time to go ahead and get in line for the uh, Museum of Marvelous Mutations. According to this sign here, it's the world's largest traveling freak show. So this is, uh, well, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so they did not allow filming or photography inside of the traveling freak show, but it was pretty darn cool. A lot of the stuff that I saw in there is the stuff that you see at Ripley's, believe it or not. Lots of two-headed animals, uh, one-headed animals with two bodies, um, many like different appendages in odd places and you know just stuff like that so it was, it was pretty darn cool I think my favorite part was probably the Cyclops uh, lambs that they had at the end there so pretty neat um, it was actually only seven dollars I think to go through there so not too bad unfortunately somebody bought the scary Sully stuffy. I saw him walking around with it and I was like, oh no, I forgot I wanted that. Shoot! It's gone and the Simba's gone too, so I can't add either to my collection. Ah, uh, that goes to show you. Buy it when you see it, folks. Don't wait. Alright, and I finally found our pals over here at Prometheus Esoterica. They have a shop over in Orlando and uh, they usually set up and stuff like this too. They always have the coolest items. Embalming tools over here, all kinds of weird and creepy and awesome stuff. I have never seen one of these little prize machines that has, uh, well, body parts in there. Looks like they've got some teeth, little paws, some animal fur. We don't want to put that in your mouth, kids. That's for sure. We got some creepy clowns in here as well. Oh goodness. Yeah, oddity, oddity conventions always have like the creepiest stuff. This one is definitely no different, especially if you don't like the clowns. And we've got some Halloween stuff over here as well. I really like the scarecrow and the witch over here. Those are cool. Oh yeah. And plenty of eyes and other surgical tools over here too. And I believe he is inserting a nail into this lady's nose. Is that your nail? Just a little bit. There you go. Is that crazy? And she gave it back to him. That's exciting. Yeah, usually at the oddity conventions you also get the sideshows as well. Okay, we got a lot of really weird stuff over here as well, of course. Probably said the word weird like 50 times today, but that's okay. I wanted to show. Oh no, this Furby lost his fur. What happened to you? My brother had a, a black Furby just like this when we were kids. Looks like it's a uh, $20. And they're also selling mystery boxes here for $20. Oh, that is very tempting. I love me a good mystery box, that's for sure. And who knows what it could be, because there's a lot of weird stuff over here. As I, as I keep saying, the creepy dolls back there. Some tongues on a little mouse trap over here. This bleeding ear that you can hang up on your on your wall. This creepy mummified skelly over here on a on a spider's body. What's the name of your shop? The Dusty Tentacle. The Dusty Tentacle. Oh my goodness. Well, I love your stuff. And if you all love it too, make sure you scan the QR code there. It goes directly to the Etsy shop. Okay, and with that, I think I'm gonna head out of the expo. I think we saw just about everything that there was to see. It was very, very busy in there. Definitely a very popular show, so I'm glad I got here when I did. And here is the banner for you all. As you can see, they've been to quite a few towns in the year of 2022. They actually only have one, one stop left, Oklahoma City in Oklahoma, but they do have their whole schedule up for 2023 and I uh, imagine they're probably hitting a lot of these towns again in 2023. So again, I'll put the information down below for you if you're interested in, uh, in showing up. And the other thing going on today, Elite Trades Championship Series, Elite Electricians. 
going on right behind me. And uh, looks uh, looks pretty serious. Maybe like some kind of, I don't know, competition thing? Oh, the sign says it right here. Where electricians become legends. Oh, wow. That sounds legit. I walked inside of the electrician's competition and, and indeed, that indeed it looks like what that is. A, a whole competition for electricians. So, who knew? There you, there you go. But I wanted to show that there is still, still a line to get inside of the uh, Oddities Expo. Wow. It's now like several hours later too. All right, just heading down the escalators now. I'm gonna head out. Before we do, I wanted to say that I did grab some things today. So uh, I'll show you what I got whenever I get back home. I got something for Tampa J. And then I did get the, I couldn't help it y'all, I got the mystery box. So Lord help us, we're gonna open that up together when I get home and see what spooky stuff is inside. And hopefully it is at least PG-13. We will see. Um, and I got something else too, it's in my bag. But uh, yeah, I will show you when I get home. Okay, and as you can see, we have since made it home and in typical Bella fashion, she decides right now to go ahead and eat her food, but that's okay. We're gonna forge forward anyway. So let me show you the first thing that I got today. Um, I got this really cool necklace. And this is from under the, under the slab that I showed there. They had a lot of really cool jewelry items I was fawning over. I had a very, very hard time deciding what to get, but this is what I ended up getting here. There we go. So that's an amethyst. That's the stone here. And then the top is like a little like snake head sort of thing. And um, what I actually really, really liked about this piece was the uh, the chain and like the color of the the top of the necklace here and the color of the chain. Like I like the way that that metal looks. And um, I've kind of been looking for other pieces, other spooky jewelry pieces to add to the collection. So I thought this would be a good option. I might switch this out with this one, this black uh, tourmaline that I got at the St. Pete flea market thing a uh, number of months ago now. So yeah, I like it. I thought it was pretty cool. This is what I got for Tampa J and myself too, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, it's, it's uh, the photo from The Shining. If you haven't seen The Shining, sorry. This is the very uh, last part of the of the movie. There's good old Jack Torrance right there. But um, I already showed Tampa J this um, since I'm putting it here in the video. But uh, we both always wanted this photo. So I saw it, it was all nicely framed and whatnot. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it. I wanted to get Tampa J something anyway. So this works out. We'll have to put this somewhere very special and spooky. And then, last but not least, let's open this mystery box. I'm very nervous about this. It's been like kind of rolling, rolling around quite a lot in here. So hopefully it's not uh, breakable what's ever in here because it's kind of been through the ringer since I, brought it since I got it, basically. So, go ahead and open this up. Here we go. I don't know how I feel about just sticking my hand in there. Sorry, all that taxidermy and whatnot kind of kind of weirds me out, so. Okay. Looks like, oh, this is cool. We have a, a, a heart-shaped face in here. That's neat. It's, um, Maybe made out of, I'm not sure what it's made out of, honestly, but it's not like plastic or whatever. Like it's a good, like kind of quality material. There's nothing to hang it with. So it's just kind of, kind of sit um, somewhere on a, on a table somewhere. 
So this face heart, that's really cool. It's really creepy and weird. That's awesome. Okay, we're starting off starting off good. There's there's a number of items inside of this box. All right, let's see here. Oh my gosh. Yo, certified Bigfoot hair. <laughs> oh, Tampa J is going to be so happy. I swear Bigfoot follows us everywhere. He's been a big 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 part of both of our channels. So this is awesome. It says certified Bigfoot fur. This first sample was gathered after a Bigfoot sighting in Oregon. Sample number 97 out of 100. So there's the fur there for you folks. Certified Bigfoot hair. That is awesome. Jay is gonna flip, oh my gosh. That's so cool. Okay, let's see what else is in here. So far, this is awesome. This this mystery box was $20. I would have paid $20 for this thing, let alone this and the Bigfoot fur and the things that I am seeing inside of here. Okay. Next up, we have this license plate. <laughs> uh, it says Portsman. Portsman's Parade 98, Louisiana. It's a Louisiana license plate. Is this from something? Is this a reference from something? If it is, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I think it's just a license plate. That's cool. I don't really have any ties to Louisiana, but uh, now I do because I have this random license plate. Um, all right, let's see. We're getting near the end here. I got two more items for you. Next up, it looks like a, uh, a mermaid uh, anatomy. It's actually all in, I think, French? Spanish? Sorry, I'm not good. Uh, I think it's French. Everyone's going to be like, it's Spanish or it's whatever, you dummy. That's fine. But uh, this is really cool. Mermaid anatomy there for you. That is pretty darn cool. I'm gonna have to frame this and hang it up. This is legit. I wish I knew what it said, but uh, I could probably guess based on what it's, all the stuff that it's uh, pointing out there. But that's really neat. It's like on a really nice quality cardstock material too. Cool. All right, finally, we have a skull. We have a shiny black skull made out of uh, ceramic, it looks like. So, there you go, folks. This is the best $20 I've ever spent. <laughs> this is awesome. I am so glad I decided to get this mystery box and that we could open it up together. These are always so much fun. I've um, gotten a few mystery boxes in the past. Um, not like weird stuff like this, but um, like Star Wars stuff, um, Golden Girls stuff, like all kinds of, um, all kinds of different mystery boxes. And this is definitely uh, one of the coolest, if not the coolest, because I had no idea what we were gonna be getting. Um, it could have really been anything. So this is so cool. Definitely worth the $20 to me. Um, this is awesome. We are all done for today. I really appreciate you all watching. Hopefully you had a good time. Um, you know, if the taxidermies and the skulls and the all of that stuff is your thing, this is a great option for you to get those those pieces, those items for your home or your spooky store or whatever it may be. Um, you know, sometimes the oddity stores are few and far between in our towns. Um, so having something like this that travels all across the country and you can get some of those, some of those items, those specialty items, um, this, it's, it's a great option. So I had a lot of fun. You know, the oddity conventions have kind of become our thing. This is the second oddities convention that we've done on the channel. Um, and they're always, they're always a really good time and we see some pretty darn unique stuff. So thank you all for watching. Again, really appreciate it. Um, I have some really, really big plans 
for tomorrow. Um, I'll just go ahead and say this little bit of it. I will be making multiple videos in one day. Bless you, Bella. So it's gonna be a busy, busy day. <laughs> and you'll see those videos over the span of time. I'm not gonna release them one by one by one, um, more than likely, but um, I'm really excited about it. These are plans that I've been talking about um, and hyping up for quite a while now and I'm finally putting it into fruition before the holidays start and all of that crazy stuff. Um, it's insane because Tampa J and myself are pretty much booked up all the way through the end of this year um, and we're already making plans for next year as well. Some really big plans that we're, we're very excited about. So I appreciate you all sticking with the channel. Um, Thank you so much for the support and whatnot. I always really appreciate it. And yeah, we will see you all very merry soon. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye everybody. Bye bye. Oh no, where am I going to put this creepy heart face and this black skull? It's not gonna go with any of our decor at all. Just not at all. Doesn't fit with the theming in any way, shape, or form. That is definitely sarcasm, y'all. This is gonna fit right in. Oh yeah, we're still getting spooky up in here and we got some spooky plans coming up pretty soon as well. So again, thanks all for watching. Bye-bye, see you soon.